King Bolin BM580 battery tester. What's up, everybody? So when you purchase this battery tester, it comes in a box like this, and this is what it looks like when you unpack it. It comes with a manual, uh, your battery tester itself. On the back of the box here, it says it could do a charging test, starting test, load test, battery waveform, multi-language support, and built-in multimeter. So yeah, this looks pretty solid, uh, great price. I'm gonna link it below. And uh, how it turns on is basically you just hook your battery clamps to the positive and negative of the battery. And then you could test this uh, battery in here. All you gotta do is let this load up, hit the uh, arrows to navigate to where you want to. But for the first thing is you just go to check. We'll go to 12 volts, because this is a 12 volt battery. And then you could do quick test in vehicle, out of vehicle. This is in the vehicle. And then for the battery test, when you uh, click battery test, it'll uh, ask you just a couple things like what kind of battery it is and then what kind of CCA cold cranking amps you got. And so you would just type in the correct cold cranking amps, which is usually on the battery. Like right here, it says CCA 295. So on this one, I'll just drop the, um, the CCA. I'll use the arrows to go down to 295 so I can test it properly. And then, uh, yeah, this one is actually bad. But uh, you could also test vehicles. Uh, or, I mean, sorry, you could test the battery outside of the vehicle. So, like, here's a battery that was removed from the vehicle, and you could test it, isolate the battery if you want to test it this way. Same procedure. You just type in, uh, you know, it's out of vehicle, the CCA rating, and then this will test it. Go to CCA here. Uh, again, that is cold cranking amps. And then uh, on here, it's 590. So I'll just go take my arrows and take that up to 590. And then I would just hit test. And then it'll test it with the um, out of vehicle test. And you could test to see if your battery is good in that way too. This one was actually good. There was no problem with this one. So it went back in the vehicle. There's also other functions like you could do a charging test, a ripple test. You could watch to see if the battery voltage is dipping out at all. The charging test requires you to start the car and kind of keep the RPMs high. Let's say start the engine and then keep the RPMs higher. You could also have a waveform viewer and it also has a multimeter. You could look up the last battery check, look at the records. That's pretty neat. And then also it has multi-language support. Just a solid battery tester for the price. Here's what it looks like on the back. Um, I recommend it. Uh, like I said, it's sold on Amazon for a super good price. And if you just need a quick battery tester, I, I recommend you check this one out.